another episode of am i doing this wrong same gals same coast new topic oh, look at you. It's catching on <laughs> it's a good tagline i like it I'm here yeah it. it's good it's good yeah so morgan and ryan here back for another episode guys very excited for this one it's gonna be fun uh, but first let's check in ryan how you doing uh <laughs> I feel good. We'll start there. Um, it's been a whirlwind of a week, but what week isn't, you know, without a good whirlwind or two, you know, are you living? So no, I'm living extra this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Getting a little extra in. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But it's been good. Morgan's been here trying new coffee shops, even when they're not open, when they say, say they're supposed to be. So yeah, that was, it. what was that? We went to four, a total, a total, a of, total four, of four, <laughs> four coffee shops looking for, honestly, at that point, anything with caffeine in it, really, I would have gone for a Pepsi next, like, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we finally found a coffee shop, which was not the best, but it's okay. The fact that we know where at least four are now, <laughs> right. Means, you know, we're one step closer to getting our morning fix, which you think coffee shops would be really on it about being open on time. I don't know. That was an odd situation, but yeah, it's been a good week. Looking forward to some of the other weeks we're going to have here and weekends, little weekend rendezvous, you know? Yeah. Rendezvous. Nice. Yeah, that's true. I am a big coffee shop uh, connoisseur. I know we say that about everything, but that's probably because that's the only word we know, but (laughs) I know we're actually not connoisseurs in anything, but we just like the word. (laughs) Right. Yeah. We don't know what it means. Um, so yeah, that was really disappointing, especially so early in the morning. Like the one thing you can depend on is coffee. Right. Where is it? I, not in our mouths. <laughs> not, not in my body. Yeah. No, not at all. But no. yeah. How are you? Ugh. Aside I'm from good. the coffee fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> So we just say you, you are high in this one. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm good. I'm good. Aside from the coffee fiasco, I am good. Having a good week, you know, uh, coming off uh, an emotionally charged episode last week, I would say. Mm. So um, yeah, a lot of big feelings. Uh, (laughs) You guys know, if you listened, we got a little sappy. Um, (laughs) I don't know why I have to say it like that. Um, <laughs> because a sappy is a sappy word. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we learned about that in our uh, Pet Peeves episode. Yes. Yeah. Can't remember what it's called. But... <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Refer back to that episode because we did talk about it. We did. Um, so we have a fun one today. We're going to do a little kind of game I would say we'll see Ooh. we'll see if Ryan can yeah get into it so um first and foremost and sometimes we forget we are not experts <laughs> we are not oh no we don't forget that we're not experts we just forget to say it at yeah. the beginning of the episode <laughs> right yeah midway in we'll like remember to say it and you're like I know I can tell you're not <laughs> right exactly yeah yeah we are constantly reminded that we are not experts <laughs> which is Mm -hmm. why we're here. So we are not experts. We are not doctors. We're not therapists. We are just two friends trying to figure out the world. And with that, let's get into today's topic. I know. What do you got, Morgan? We are talking about sex acts in public places. (laughs) Woo! (laughs) (laughs) That's exciting. I know. This I don't know a- why I'm not very experienced at this at all, but I'm excited for it. <laughs> it's <laughs> well, you might learn some uh, tips and tricks and um, some places where you can do it. So let's get into it. All right. So first things first, is it illegal? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're just thinking of the excitement, but let's clarify. Um, so not necessarily sex act or you know sex in public is not necessarily illegal 
Um, it does depend on the state or jurisdiction. Mm. So the act may not be illegal, but you could be charged with things like lewd conduct, indecent exposure, or disorderly conduct. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it, there's a risk. There's a risk factor. <laughs> um, <laughs> Makes it all the more exciting. <laughs> exactly. That's part of the fun, right? So uh, that being said, there are four places in the world where it is legal. Nice. All right. Give so everyone, list. yeah, exactly. <laughs> everyone uh, get out your notepads and jot these down. <laughs> so first place is Germany. So it says under German law, public nudity is legal in designated areas. Nice. So I wonder if they have like signs up. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a stick figure, like holding a dress next to it. Like right. Here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Optional. Yeah. Right. So, um, so apparently it's also legal to have sex in public. However, combining the two can get you in big trouble. So interesting. You, so you can, can have- be nude or you can be having sex, but you cannot be nude and having sex. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> kind of random. That's hilarious. So yeah, it, it says, turns out having sex in public is only legal if you're covered. So, you know, quickie, keep your pants on. Um, yeah, like everywhere though, <laughs> like- <laughs> in the designated areas. Oh, right. But, the um, yeah, exactly. So apparently doing so while exposed can get you, um, it's a slapped with a 150 euro fine. <laughs> I thought you were going to say slapped with something else. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> they just get off like their paddle board. They're like bad. <laughs> right. It's like a whole BDSM situation. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Germany. Okay. We see you, Germany. <laughs> All right, so next one is Guadalajara, Mexico. So um, as of 2018, public sex is legal in Guadalajara. Uh, It's perfectly legal to do the do, it says, (laughs) out in the open, as long as no third-party complaints are filed with the police. (laughs) So this one's a little risky because you may not know who's watching. Some people might be into it, but some might be offended. So it's definitely a gamble. (laughs) <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Instead of getting, instead of getting paid to have sex, you know, like on OnlyFans, you're like getting fined for it because somebody's watching you. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're going to have to pay. So, <laughs> so according to city council members, the law was enacted to prevent police from extorting young couples caught in the act and to alleviate the concern for law enforcement, leaving them time to pursue more serious crimes. Wow. So it's like, they don't want cops everywhere. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a prevention can be built into the law or something. That's wild. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Take note from Guadalajara. So... <laughs> I mean, just the name alone, Guadalajara. I know. It's I want to have sex there. I right. want to have sex in public. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can <laughs> just watch out for complaints. <laughs> so um, next one is Vondel Park in the Netherlands. Nice. Uh-huh. I have to stop by Vondel Park. I was going to say, <laughs> Ryan is very, uh, very soon going on a trip to Amsterdam. So yes, yes. yes. If yeah. You- I'm, I wonder where it is too, because it would be really interesting. I always think about that, like nude beaches, it's only a portion of the beach, you know, like, yeah. is it like, is it a cove? So it's kind of like a little bit hidden or is it literally just like, here's the sand line and like you can't go over here <laughs> right and like you can hang balls over there <laughs> <laughs> so everyone on the normal beach is just looking over at the nude side of the beach the whole right. time yeah which no, I will <laughs> okay sorry just to interrupt I will say nude beaches I don't think are as awkward as people make them out to be like I've seen like footage like not <laughs> not like looking up new beaches, but I've seen it. So I did look up like a new beach somewhere and I was just thinking like, oh, it's, it's just bodies. Like, I think we make too much of a thing out of it. Yeah. Which, right. Like, that's probably why it's not like everyone in Guadalajara is just like <laughs> out on the streets. You know, I just think it's that when you put a limitation, then there's risk, which makes it exciting. Like people want to be bad, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. That's true. That's true. I'm, it's me. I'm people. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, well, for this park in the Netherlands, it's the largest park in Amsterdam and the most famous. Um, Public sex became legal in the park in 2008. However, there are certain rules participants must observe. So you're right. There is some kind of restriction around this. 
Um, what is it? I'm going to like write it down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they must restrict their sexual activity to the night hours and must stay away from the playground area. So you're right. There's some kind of designation as to <laughs> where the sex mm. is allowed. Okay. This might be like a bucket list item now. Like this is interesting. I would totally, I literally my first time, I don't know what I'm thinking. My first time ever having sex was on a beach. It was a very public place. Yeah. And it wasn't even like a hidden beach. It was like the sand next to the walkway. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. A lot of people went down to that beach. I mean, it was right by the school. Yeah. Right by campus. Right. For all I knew, like I was in a playground. It could have been like. (laughs) Somebody was watching. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) There were a lot of balconies overlooking. You know, somebody (laughs) was watching. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's true. (sighs) So, um, (laughs) uh, another rule at the park is that you must also clean up after yourself. No, no mess left behind. (laughs) That's fair. They're like, that's fair. Have sex, but reduce, reuse, recycle, you know, (laughs) (laughs) they'll recycle your condoms, (laughs) but, but don't leave them for kids to find the next morning either. Right. Exactly. So, Yeah. Yeah. All right, so our last location, and please forgive me for this pronunciation, is Orstedsparken in Denmark. Of course it's Denmark with a name like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so it's uh, public sex in Denmark is only legal in one designated park, so similar to Amsterdam. Um, and it's in Copenhagen. I won't say the name again. I won't butcher it. Uh, please forgive my pronunciation the first time. <laughs> um, so just like Vondel Park, uh, there are rules to be followed and there are signs posted. Okay, some signs, for example, say sex in the park is allowed, but show some consideration. Many children institutions use the park. Uh, Wait, another one. What is the children's? Oh, ch- Okay. I, I'm sorry. That was not making sense to me. Children's institutions, like, like, like elementary schools, like schools. Them... Yeah. Oh, okay. or, or yeah any... okay. Something like that. Or maybe okay. like, um, like an activity, like a kid's activity program or like a summer okay. camp, something like that. Okay. Um, and then another one, another example was, um, please avoid sex in the playground and visible places between 9am and 4pm loud sex in hiding between 9 a.m. and 4 (laughs) p.m. So they're saying, please avoid sex between 9 and 4. However, if you're going to do it, avoid having loud sex between 9 and 4. (laughs) (laughs) That's wonderful. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Save the chains and whips for the nighttime. You know, we want to be respectful. Right. Yeah. Use your inside voice. So... (laughs) And the last one, uh, the last example sign was remember to remove semen from the benches after the act, leave condoms and use napkins in the bins. I mean, honestly, they're doing their due diligence. You know what I mean? Like it's all really working out. It seems, you know, I'll I'll let you know once I go, but (laughs) right. Yeah. Report back after your trip. You'll have to go to Bondal Park and let us know. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It it would be interesting to see like the type of people that matriculate, you know, like, is it just a regular park and people are like, why are you staring at us? You know, or Mm -hmm. is it like a bunch of like really well-placed trees? You know what I mean? (laughs) Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Are there people who go sit in the park and wait for other people to come have sex? Right. Exactly. Like, is that really where you just people watch? You know what I mean? Yeah. Vondel Park. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you'll have to let us know. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about the psychology of sex acts in public. So scientifically speaking, there is no one conclusive reason as to why any of us do things we do sexually. Um, and this article, you know, we will always have our resources in the show notes for you guys. Um, but this article was talking to a sex educator and relationship therapist and um, they continue to say that the, the exhibitionist streak can be in all kinds of people from introverted to super powerful extroverts. Hmm. Brian has the ex- exhibitionist streak for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. And even before I even knew like what that actually meant, you know, like I had heard that word 
But then when I actually looked up the definition, I was like, oh, that's, that's all it is. Oh, cause I've been that for a long time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Now you'd know how to identify. Right. Um, I do too, a little bit and we'll get into it later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't let Morgan fool you. <laughs> She's not all facts and percentages over here. Okay. <laughs> but I love a good percentage. All right. <laughs> so, um, so it goes on to say there does there does not appear to be any direct cause and effect relationship between what people like to do sexually and how they experience their day-to-day personalities. So there's no one thing to pinpoint who is and isn't, is and isn't, 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 isn't. <laughs> who is and is not <laughs> um, an exhibitionist. Right. So, so when you and your partner are having an elevator quickie or a mile high hookup, there's an extra level of excitement there. You're aware that you're having risky sex, risky being not in carefully constructed private confines of a bedroom. Mm. And then it has a note, which we also note, uh, please get enthusiastic consent and use protection. (laughs) (laughs) No, yeah, that's true because that's, we talk about consent in terms of like, if you want to have sex, but I might want to have sex. I just don't want to do it this publicly. I'm not saying me, it probably wouldn't be me. I'm kind of down. Like I'm like really down. Like I'm thinking about it now. It'll be interesting. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe I'll have a story later this summer, but um. She's already Googling directions to Vondel Park. Vondel so, Park, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but I was just thinking like, yeah, that's also something you need to consent to. Like yeah. the risk of it, you need to be able to consent to. Right. Excitedly. <laughs> Excited, enthusiastically. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so um, as is often the case with any sexual activity from watching porn to sexting to physically getting it on, dopamine the reward chemical comes into play so if you successfully get away with having risky public sex your brain is and this is quoted from the article your brain is going to feel hella rewarded and hella euphoric (laughs) (laughs) accurate (laughs) yeah right um so another relationship expert goes on to explain that sex is so overwhelmingly exciting pleasurable and rewarding that our brains during orgasm look almost identical to a brain on heroin nice so um according to neuroscience neuroscientist dr gert holstig there is only a 5% difference between our brain's observation, uh, nope, between our brain's observable reaction to sex and heroin, which explains the euphoric high we experience after a passionate sex session. Interesting. And I just had a horrible thought and we can cut it out if we want to, but like, so is sex on heroin just like the best thing ever? I don't know. I don't know either. Um, we'll, we'll move on but <laughs> Google for another day. Right. Yeah, I, don't, exactly. I don't think that's terrible to bring up. Okay. I think that's an interesting <laughs> question. Um, <laughs> so um, another aspect the freedom of being outdoors in nature or in a community of like-minded others, mm-hmm. the latter referring to sex parties, which see our orgies episode for a very fun conversation about sex parties. <laughs> um <laughs> play parties or swinger communities. So unpacking the psychology further, for some it reinforces their attractiveness and others want to watch them. And then for some others, it's a thrill of being desired or desiring. Mm, Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, so those are some of the reasons why people might want to participate either in uh, sex acts in public places or um, in kind of voyeuristic scenarios. Yeah. Uh, especially in regards to like the sex parties, right? I mean, right. And well, ahead. I was also thinking about the red light district in Amsterdam, which mm. is on our bucket list for sure. Yeah. It's just interesting because yeah, porn is huge. And like, not to say I, I like, I'm not always into watching porn. Like sometimes I do feel kind of just like, eh, it's not that interesting. I don't think that it's actually <laughs> as interesting as people. Ryan wants a better storyline in her porn. <laughs> <laughs> I really do though. It's so true because I'm like, I get it at first you're you know 13 you're like ooh boobies you know but like or maybe that was just me I don't know ooh dicks or whatever you were excited about and but after time over time it just kind of like loses its interest but I think seeing things in person is really where the rush is right it's like 
I'm like really close to you. There's like zero degree separation, you know? Mm, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, so it goes on to say that people who have not given consent to witness sexual activity have needs that need to be considered, mm -hmm. right? So that makes sense why in Guadalajara, if someone files a complaint, you can still get in trouble. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, uh, so it goes on to recommend if you're looking for a safe and sexy way to get your dopamine rush, a sex club or party might be your best bet. Mm. Yeah. Would you go to a sex club? Um, I would. I think yeah. I would. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely yeah. would. You know, I'm, it's not, I a mean, question. yeah, it, yeah. It's a matter of time for you. Right. <laughs> it really is. COVID really fucked me at this time and not in a good way, you know? Right. Not, in, not in the way you wanted. Yeah. Not in a sex club way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, to me, actually, that sounds like a really good idea for many reasons, honestly. But one of the things about being safe is it's probably a little bit more regulated, you know, like rather than just like showing up to someone's house. I don't know. What would you, what do you think you'd prefer? Cause now that I'm thinking about it, I might prefer a house, but I don't know. Like a think? sex club versus a sex party. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like a sex party, you're more likely to like the people are more vetted, right? Hopefully. Like, yes, like you agree. may or may not know the host. And if you do know the host, then you probably have a little more trust. Whereas like a sex mm. club, anyone can go in and I'm sure they have uh, strict rules. Like okay. I have a friend who had a friend who worked at one. So I do know a little bit about them. Um, oh. Yeah, we'll talk about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so I know that they do have pretty strict rules right? Um, and yeah. security and things like that. So right. Security, that, sanitary, sanitation, yep. right? Sanitation yeah, is huge. Yeah. So then maybe a sex club would be better because the rules are like the rules, right? Like maybe right. Uh, if like a house party, like you could, well, you can kind of think of it like, I guess anywhere else where you would meet people, but you can kind of think of it like dating apps, right? Like if you meet somebody that you like at a sex party or, you know, like a couple or whatever group, then you could like take it back to your place, but it's, yeah, that's true, you know, but it's like the safe date in public first. It's very similar, mm, you yeah. know? And so I think for me, it would be nice to, yeah, go somewhere where it was like regulated. I could get a feel of if I was even interested in doing something with other people, you know? Um, mm -hmm. and, and if so, you know, we can bring the Kiki home. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> true. Okay. So start at the club, yeah. turn it into a party. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get into a little game here, okay? So I'm going to name some places and, like, you know, like crazy places to have sex, okay? Okay, okay. And then, Ryan, you'll let us know what are the pros and what are the cons. Oh, okay. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so number one is in the woods. So put a blanket down, be in nature, be amongst the animals. What do you think? I can already tell by the way that you sold it that you would, <laughs> that this is not one that you'd be down with. <laughs> I'm just like, not like an in the nature kind of gal. Right, you yeah, know what exactly. I mean? <laughs> yeah. Twigs in the hair isn't really like my, my go-to, you know? Um, I just, I know myself hiking. I, I know like at the end of the hike, I wouldn't be like, okay, now let's fuck, you know, I'd be like, <sighs> <laughs> like call the chopper to airlift me out of here because I'm not walking back <laughs> well right yeah because if you just pick like a like a walking hike like you're not going to be alone you know there's no privacy in that but That's do true. you want the privacy so I think the pros would be if it really just is like an into the woods <laughs> type of situation um the pros would be that yeah you'd have privacy even though it technically is public you know you mm -hmm. probably have some type of pri privacy yeah um but the cons just outweigh for me. Bugs, yeah, animals. Know, bugs. You know, Mother Nature is a fickly bitch, you know, and I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like it wouldn't work out in my favor. I know that it wouldn't. I literally had sex on a beach. So yeah, I would say the biggest con is just not knowing what's about to happen. Yeah. Um, but depending on the situation, I mean, again, it doesn't take a lot to convince me to have sex like somewhere. So <laughs> I think it would be worth it. Um, but it would be cool if it were like a 
look, I'm like glamping. I'm like, it would be cool if it were like a campfire type thing, you know, and you had like a tent and like a bed. Uh, right. <laughs> but like yeah, a shower. I, I, right. Yeah, exactly. But I wouldn't, I would be down to fool around a little bit near the, near the creek, you know? Fool around near the creek. Okay. So <laughs> compromise. Got it. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> All right. So number two, this one is in the laundry room. Now this could be private, right? Yeah. But if you live in like an apartment building Mm. with a shared laundry, Mm. okay. So we'll use that as our example, right? So getting freaky on top of the washing machine or dryer. um, Oh, I'm not going to read this next part. Okay, I'll say it. It says, and wait for the crotch-tacular fireworks. Oh, that was... I did not write this, people. This, <laughs> this is from our sources. But the plus of the vibrations from the machine could be an added bonus to the sexual experience. So is it worth it? I mean, if you're washing your clothes appropriately, it shouldn't be shaking. I'm just like <laughs> picturing like an old ass, like laundromat or something. Right. Um, but I will say the warm dryer sounds nice. You know, the dryer gets all warm on top, you know, mm. down, you know, yeah. I really want like the whole Titanic experience, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. So the next one is on a fancy hotel rooftop. So oh, sneak up yeah. after hours <laughs> <laughs> and maybe uh, sneak into a poolside cabana, very swank. Oh yeah. No, this would be a definite, like I'm trying to think if I've done that. No, I haven't. Okay. No, 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 I haven't. But yeah, the pros definitely outweigh the cons because the cons is like getting caught, you know, right. um, hopefully you're actually staying at this hotel or maybe you're not, oh, honestly, maybe you go to yeah. a rooftop bar and they have like, you know, a connecting side that's shut down and, you know, you sneak over there. Yeah. And oh yeah, I'd totally be down. It's probably better so that if you did get in trouble, you didn't get kicked out of the hotel and didn't have a place to stay. Oh, fair. Good point. You know, yeah. yeah. I don't have any record of you. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm uh, John Smith. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the next one is a dressing room. Ooh. Okay. I'll so, say. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Ahead. Well, it just says this is the most natural place to have sex if you think about it. It's private and you're naked. Psst. Sex is just the next step. Oh yeah. I would definitely fool around in a dressing room, but see, this is where it comes back to like sanitary. Right. Um, mm. because dressing rooms are disgusting. Like, <laughs> I mean, just think about it. It's like, if, I mean, I guess a lot of people don't wash their hands when they go to go to the bathroom, but it's like, yeah, if you went to the bathroom, but there was no sink around anywhere, I feel yeah. like they should have a wash, a hand washing station in, <laughs> in dressing rooms. Right. Because you're right. just like, your hands are super dirty and then you have to like undress yourself and like try on a bunch of stuff. I don't know. People have already tried it on. Yeah. It's not, it's not hitting it for me. So cons would be sanitation. Okay. Um, but yeah, but the given privacy, the fact that, you know, people aren't going to come over, you know, to like your little stall area or whatever. Um, and I would honestly say if you're going to do it like the raunchier, the better do it in like a Ross or some shit, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> do like right before closing, nobody's in the dressing room. They don't usually like proctor them, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think if the nicer the place, like the more attentive the staff will be. Exactly. And so you're more likely to get caught. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the next one is the front seat of a car. So pass. 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 <laughs> okay. So it says, yes, the back seat is the OG of adventurous sex, but why not ramp it up a bit and get creative in the front seat? Because there's a bunch of hard things other than the person that you're with that are like sticking (laughs) out of a car and just make it so awkward. Like honking the horn on accident with your ass is actually not fun at all. You just like startle some random (laughs) passerby and like draw attention to yourself. (laughs) Hold on. Say passerby again. You You cut out. for me too. Okay. Um, You just startle some passerby. Oh yeah. Well, I'll just say honking your horn with your ass or... mm. Honking the horn with your ass is not nearly as exciting as it sounds. Like <laughs> you're just like startling a near, you know, like passerby and like yeah. drawing more attention to yourself. So it's going to be a pass for me. <laughs> yeah. Pass. Okay. I think it depends on the car. Okay. Um, oh, have like an old, like muscle car. That's got like a full front seat. I mean, I know this is just, 
<laughs> this scenario in my head is very specific, yes. but, <laughs> but I could see, I'm also a lot shorter than you. So I feel like I might be able to make it work. Yeah. Morgan, you're a spinner. We know. <laughs> I know, right? Should I just embrace it? <laughs> you should. I mean, not from like old weird dude in the club, but like embrace it for yourself, you know, do it for yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but I do like the reference to the, uh, the muscle car because it has the, yeah, uh, front seat that like goes all the way across. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. That you could probably make that work a little bit better. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I guess the backseat would be very similar in that type of car, but mm. that sounds better than just the regular backseat of any car, you know, because of all the, like I said, hard things. <laughs> right. <laughs> hard surfaces. We'll put it that way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So the next one is the storage room at work. So you're at work, but you're not working and that's just hot. <laughs> yeah. I waste time at work anyway, and I'm always turned on now. <laughs> Right. That's true. I could spend less time playing Wordle and at least this would be like a little bit of cardio, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a desk cardio. all the time. So if I could, you know, honestly, if I had worked at like more cubicle type places, like when I was younger, like if I would have had like, you know, whatever job that has cubicles, um, I could see this not necessarily at the cubicle, but like, I could see this being more viable yeah. because, you know, I worked at like food industry. I worked at like Starbucks forever, you know, like oh, there's yeah. no stock room. It's right. It's just the room that everyone's in. So <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, yeah. I could be down for some office rendezvous for sure. I could. Yeah. 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 What about you? Um, <laughs> I could maybe be down for it. You know, I'm a little bit, um, paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> like choose your words wisely, Morgan. What are you? Right. <laughs> so I don't know. I might be a little bit worried, but I did work at a place in the past where there was a rumor that people had sex in the stairwell during one of the office Christmas parties. <laughs> that definitely so, happened. That yeah. definitely happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> stairwell is a good one too, especially, like I said, that's the thing. It has to be like a place that has like, yeah, multiple areas that could be vacant at any, at any given time, you know? Right. Like, yeah, Christmas party, stairwell. That's kind of hot. I'm, I'm kind of into that. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So, all right. So the next one is in the library stacks. This is the perfect, oh, nope. This is perfect for a naughty fantasy. You're a sexy librarian and he's a bad boy who can never turn his books in on time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really funny, all of like the dom sub punishment <laughs> relationships that people think of like like the teacher you know oh I'm so sorry like what can I do to get my grade up mm -mm. you know like I just think yeah. they're so funny they just crack me up um I've never done much role play though that just kind of mm. reminds me have you done any role play I haven't no not much I haven't played like sexy librarian <laughs> like bad student I haven't right right yeah I, I'm not opposed to it. I just think it takes a lot more planning than people realize. And that's why it doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I would need some props. Like I would want oh, to for do, sure. yeah. I don't want to just be like, oh, hold this book and then bring it over to me. No, I'd be like, I'm, I ordered some glasses. I got a sweater. <laughs> like I, I brought a, a ruler. <laughs> oh, I, you do need the sweater. <laughs> I just, that's hilarious. I don't want to have pass it, you know? Fair. So fair. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not opposed. I mean, would you do it in the library? Uh, hmm. I feel like libraries to me are like churches to other people that care about churches, uh, religious mm -hmm. people. I feel like libraries are like sacred, you know, they're like, like ch childhood nostalgia, you know, like where I um, went, you know, to do things like that. And like, yeah, children's story times and stuff. That's what I think of or like field trips. So that just seems like wrong to me, <laughs> <laughs> but I would do the fantasy, just maybe not in the library. I will say a pro though, is that unfortunately libraries are kind of empty. <laughs> no. Yeah. I know it's sad. And I hate, I hate that, but it kind of could be a good place for that. I've definitely like sat and read for a while and like if there was just somebody to come by and have sex with me I don't think anyone would have known you know yeah 
I mean, unless like I didn't want the sex or something, but that's another story. <laughs> oh yeah. That's not a good scenario. Don't bring this down. We're having a, we're having a fun time. <laughs> so all in all, morally, no, I wouldn't do it, but also just like, fuck it. I kind of would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I probably would. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right. One of those private rooms, you know, the ones that's you got true. a book. <laughs> private study it. sesh yeah yeah Ooh. okay oh yeah I'd be into that yeah 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 there's some options <laughs> okay so our next one is in an elevator <laughs> best place for a quickie is it I don't it, it has to be really quick like I mean are you in the empire state building and nobody else is getting on the elevator how much time do you have does nobody get on the elevator at the empire state building no, I'm just saying it's really tall. So there's a lot of floors. <laughs> I was like, is it like notoriously empty or something? Is no. it haunted? Like, what is this? <laughs> no, I'm okay. just saying you have a long way to go to get to the top. Mm. You know what? I fooled, <laughs> look, I fooled around on an elevator for sure. Oh. Um, and it is hot because you have to kind of like stop really quickly. Yeah. Actually, I don't know how quick we were, uh, <laughs> but. <laughs> was this in Vegas? You probably weren't that quick. <laughs> of course it was in Vegas. <laughs> Morgan mine too yeah <laughs> yeah oh I've definitely got yeah good like repping up on an air airplane no I haven't done that mm. cut that out I've definitely got <laughs> I've definitely had a good repping up on an air not an airplane what is this elevator it's an elevator mm-hmm. <laughs> I've had fun on an elevator oh boy just keep going we don't have to <laughs> I've definitely got roughed up on an elevator. Okay. I'll say that. Yeah. I've had some good starts to a wonderful evening for sure. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But never enough time to actually do like for the whole quickie. Right. Oh no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Same. Okay. So the next one is in the ocean, (laughs) in the ocean. So you said you had sex on a beach, but what do you think about in the ocean? Pros and cons. Um, pros. There won't be any sand spiders. So I won't get bit by oh. anything. I got bit by, remember those yeah. spiders, like multiple things. Um, <laughs> there are other things that can bite you in the ocean though. Oh, fuck. That's true. Fuck no. Yeah, yeah no. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, look at me. I always change. I'm like, mm. no, I wouldn't. Again, sanitary. Like yeah. I, well, have you fooled around in a hot tub? I have. Uh, I've, had sex in a hot tub. I've not had sex in a hot tub. I've fooled around in a hot tub, not had sex in a hot tub. You were there. I had sex in a hot tub. I know. (laughs) Just wanted to clarify. I wasn't sure if you could remember. Um, I can't remember. (laughs) (laughs) She wasn't there the whole time, guys. Right. Yeah. (laughs) Honestly, I I couldn't even tell you. But But what? Nothing. You you just stopped like mid-sentence. No, I I meant like I couldn't tell you. Oh, honestly. That was the end? (laughs) <laughs> yeah now I'm realizing that I may, maybe it didn't sound like that but yes <laughs> okay well also I was thinking like factoring in the waves this like short <laughs> I, that's true that's true yeah there's well I have a low center of gravity which is like a plus maybe but like in the waves it's hard for me to like yeah <laughs> I I don't know I don't know well would you have sex seems like a time? factor would I have, mm, I don't know, sanitary, but I guess if you're in the hot tub, you might as well just, I mean, it. bodily fluids are literally everywhere anyway. So. Yeah, that's true. It's Ew. something we all just kind of ignore. I know. I know. Maybe the bigger moral of this one is don't have sex in a hot tub or don't go in hot tubs. <laughs> but I like hot tubs. Mm, you like a bath. You just want to be in the bath. <laughs> Just take a bath. At least it's just you and your germs in there. I mean, fair enough. I do really like hot tubs though. I went to, I went, I went to the mountains one time with some friends from school and we got like a, like a pretty big actually um, cabin Mm. and it had a hot tub and it was like overlooking like all the snow because it was still like snowy out. Um, And it was really fun. That's like, that's like a whole thing. Like, I love it. It was a moment. Okay. I would want to do that. I haven't yeah. done that. I would go in a hot tub at a right. snowy, um, lodge. Yes, exactly. Or yeah. cabin. Yeah. Right. Right. I would do that. And I think if the mood strikes you, right. Like if you're having a good time and then like, it just happens to clear out and you're left there with like you and whoever is, you know, attracting your attention that night. That's kind of fun. That's kind of hot, you know, especially if you can just like get away with it and like walk back to your room, like nothing happened. That's hot. 
Yeah. That's, <laughs> you're like drawn up a whole scenario here. <laughs> This is the first time I've thought about sex, sex acts in public places. Okay? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our next one is on a roller coaster. I mean, no, because I would never be on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, that's true. You don't like roller coasters. No. So this one uh, reminded me of the movie Fear with Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon. Have you seen that? I don't think so. Okay. So he fingers her on a roller coaster. It's like this whole scene. But like, would you let someone finger you on a roller coaster? <laughs> <laughs> Considering the only roller coaster that I go on is like Space Mountain. No, uh, mm. there's too much whiplash. I, <laughs> it's like a <laughs> recipe for a disaster. Like that sounds horrible. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah. 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 Morgan. I might, I might do it. I don't know. I, oh yeah. I could totally see you being down for that. <laughs> Yeah, Thanks. like the back, the like the back two seats, you know. Right. Do I just yeah. give off like finger me on a roller coaster vibes? <laughs> Very specific vibe, but yes, it, it, it oozes from you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just need to know what I'm putting out there, you know. Right. So <laughs> that's your vibe. <laughs> oh, good. Noted. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And our last one is at the movies. For sure. Yes. I'm actually surprised I haven't done that one. <laughs> yeah right it feels like a rite of passage I haven't done this one either have you ever fooled around in a movie theater I've only kissed in a movie theater I've kissed in a movie theater I don't think I've fooled around that's surprising actually right that seems like something I would have done when I was like 17 or something right I was yeah. yeah I was surprised too but that seems like a rite of passage like it feels like everyone's given a handy in the movie theater were you thinking of like the hand job in the popcorn bucket, you know? Yeah. Okay. Is that, a, is that from a movie or? A I mean, I I, it's from a lot of movies. But... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got to separate the two. I don't know. It's in a lot of things. Yeah. I, but that's the thing. I feel like it's a trope. I feel like it's, you know, mm, so commonplace yeah. that I just assume. So I'm like, I haven't done that. Like I'm missing out. I, <laughs> maybe I'll do it when I'm older. Maybe I'll like flip Ooh. it around, flip it around. you know? <laughs> I'll be like 60 years old, you know, grandma being like, go into the movies. Let's go, honey. Honestly, old people get away with whatever the fuck they want to do. You can mm. just act like you have a dementia, and, you know, and they'll yeah. be like, Ugh, just get her home, you know, but you do that at our age and they're like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> right. You have to go to court after. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, there's some wild places uh, to get it on. And oh wait, yeah. I just wanted to add a pro of um sex or just fooling around in an, a movie theater is that one, it's dark, right? Mm -hmm. Two, the seats, the way that they come up, like you can't really look around you that much. You really have to kind of like stand up and turn if you really want to see anybody else or yeah. even see what they're doing, you know. So that's like a perfect place. So I agree. I, I'm very surprised I haven't done it. And it does seem like a rite of passage because given like especially when you're young, like when else are you going to be in like really comfortable seats? Uh, <laughs> right. When are you going to have like privacy? The dark. Like, right. But right. all, all teenagers are like going to the movie theater, right? Like that's something True. your parents will let you do. True. So. But we would like giggle and pull each other's hair. It was never like. <laughs> right. Yeah. Maybe somebody would... was getting a handy in the back. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> that's true. That's true. It was probably happen happening all around us. We just weren't paying attention. Yeah, definitely at that old movie theater for sure. <laughs> yeah, that was that place was grimy. That, was. Now we know why. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't sticky from spilled soda on the floor. It was all the oh, the yeah. cum, all the jizz <laughs> from all the handies. <laughs> from all the jizz. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, now we know. So everyone, <laughs> enjoy your next movie date. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Now I'm just going to be like the one, like peering over the seats, looking everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real shifty eyes, just looking for handies wherever you can. Just like peeking around at people. Oh my God. Real <laughs> shifty eyes. That's wonderful. Ah, well, all right. So there's some wild places. So Ryan, where is the craziest place that you've had sex? Me? <laughs> Innocent me? Who, me? Yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> Um, okay. Like I said, my first time was on a beach, so that was yeah. pretty wild. Although it was late at night, it like, it was probably like early hours of the morning. Um, yeah. 
so yeah that was a big that was a pretty wild one um <laughs> thinking back <laughs> on it it was very wild um and I think he only ripped my tights I don't even think I actually like took my okay uh anyway <laughs> for another day we'll talk about that another day um but anyways yeah so sex on the beach um in the backseat of a car uh actually down in San Diego near Mission Bay there's like this bay obviously mm-hmm. it's the name <laughs> and it's like parking is really close there's like a park and then the water okay um and so it was really late at night and we pulled into that like parking lot uh and had sex right there okay uh, were car. there any other cars in the parking lot there were at one point I can't remember if they were all gone by okay. the time we actually started having sex but the, a car did come later okay um and we did have like the foggy windows really titanic style seriously oh. uh it wasn't actually that good of sex but no. it was exciting and yeah look that's the thing though i was thinking about this when we were talking about like does size matter like in some of our past like sex ex- episodes and i was just thinking about it like sex really isn't the focal point we've said this before but like it's really not it really doesn't have to be the most heroin like <laughs> right sex that you've ever had like if the buildup is sexy if you're into the person that's yeah. sexy the actual act can actually be pretty simple or mundane but the whole experience is just like well well worth it you know what I mean right so, right yeah that's a very good point yeah. yeah that's really true yeah so I would say that and I've had sex in multiple cars over the years and I've only had two cars myself so that tells you something about me but anyway <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if I think of anything else, I'll mention it. But what about you? Um, so the craziest place I've had sex in public is on a balcony. Mm. Uh, when we were in Mexico. I was just gonna say, was I there for that? (laughs) Uh, you were in the vicinity, you weren't on the balcony. (laughs) Right. Yes. Oh, yes. I have had other things going on. Yeah. Yeah, but (laughs) it was not like a closed balcony. It was yeah. yeah, it had it was like the stone pillar, so there was definitely <laughs> visual uh, yeah. opportunities. Yeah, for room for, yeah, room for peeping tom, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> and the rooms across the way. The way the hotel was shaped, your balcony was facing someone else's balcony, so yeah. someone else was outside. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just a big so. U shape. Everyone could see everyone. <laughs> right. That's, yeah, that's true. So I uh, may or may not have had an audience. But, um, (laughs) but yeah. And you know what? I have, I don't think I've had sex in a car. Really? Isn't that weird? No movie theater, no car. It's like, I'm going to need to get some high school things checked off my list. (laughs) (laughs) I know a little spinner like you thought you would be in cars all the time. (laughs) She's so compact. He's he's like, oh man, I drive a Prius. I'm like, it's okay. I'm five (laughs) foot tall. (laughs) We're good. (laughs) Oh my God. That's hilarious. But again, yeah, that one is a rite of passage, but just like a lot of things, um, once you do it, it's like, oh, this actually wasn't that great. Um, I've had some pretty good car sex though. I will, I will say I've had some pretty good car sex. Um, one time I was on Molly. Should we be talking about this? I don't know. (laughs) One time I was inebriated and we had sex. But see, that's the thing. It sounds like I was drinking. We can cut this out. But it sounds like I was drinking and I wasn't. You could say you were on Molly. Like, okay. It's up to you. But I, I mean, it's fine. Yeah. plenty of people talk about when they did drugs. True. Fair enough. Well, yes. Yeah. That time when I did take Molly, that was really exciting because the whole mm. experience was exciting. Like I said, yeah. always goes back to the experience. So. It's yeah. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. So the big question, are we doing this wrong? You definitely are. You have some rite of passages to get to, girl. (laughs) Well, I don't know if I'm really missing out on the car sex. I'm sure it will happen on a road trip with someone I may be interested in. Sure. Okay. (laughs) But it seems like, you know, there's, there's a lot of uncomfortable things, right? Like the car, you're doing it in a car because you don't have somewhere else to go. Like at this point in my life, if we don't have somewhere else to go, this is not (laughs) someone I should probably be having sex with. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you've got bigger issues. There was a time though that I had car sex with somebody that I met in the club, but we were both traveling and it wasn't like, usually like if you're on vacation or something, obviously you probably have somewhere to go, but this wasn't a vacation. This was just like a long night out. Like we kind of traveled a little bit far Mm -hmm. from where we live. Okay. So did he, or at least he said he could have been married for all I know, (laughs) but (laughs) Uh, but we did have sex in the car because of that reason. And so yeah. it was like, we found a private parking lot. You know, we did. Um, 
oh my gosh, I've had a lot of car sex. I just thought of two different examples. Okay. Anyways, I think <laughs> going back to the question, um, I think I've done it pretty right. Um, it doesn't mean those were always like the best situations, but I figured it out in a lot of public places more than I realized. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think you you have to sit down and think about if you're due, you know what I mean? Because right. you think back on the experience, you're not thinking about whether it was in public or not. Yeah. Right. Fair enough. Oh. I wonder how popular car sex really is because I'm, yeah, I wonder how popular it is. I don't know. Maybe we can find some stats and share them next week. I know. We'll That'd make a note. Yeah. We'll make a note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but do you feel like you're doing it wrong? don't I mean Mm -hmm. I'm open to all of these experiences right so even in nature (laughs) if if in nature I will be open-minded if the moment that I find myself in nature and the mood should strike (laughs) I'm not writing anything off (laughs) you know what it could even be something as simple as like maybe you know like let's put it into perspective like what if we all like decide to go to Burning Man and true you know we're like camping tent camping but the tents are shared so you and like whoever you meet or you know whatever go and find like a quiet area I mean you're not the only ones going to be having sex there for sure right but also it is public so what about that do you think you could handle handle the burning man situation <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah I think you could. Sure. <laughs> I think I could I could totally see you coming back with your hair just like all messy like what's up <laughs> yeah right <laughs> I'll be like check for twigs yeah. <laughs> Brian's just picking twigs out of my hair. Right. She's like, no, <laughs> leave them there. I want to remember it. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's part of my aesthetic for the weekend. <laughs> it really is though. You're at Burning Man. <laughs> right. Exactly. I mean, it'll work. It'll work. Exactly. Ah, but you'll, you'll have to let us know about Vondel Park. Oh yes. Oh no. I'm seriously, you, you already know. Morgan knew when she brought that up. She's like, this is perfect. <laughs> this, I, that was my exact thought. So yeah. report back <laughs> yeah we're securing content for the summer <laughs> <laughs> perfect <laughs> oh my gosh well this was super fun um lots of places to put on the bucket list yes. and uh if you guys have had sex in public and want to share oh, yeah. please do we <laughs> would love to hear your stories yes and if you'd like your stories shared on the podcast you can share them with us at wrong the podcast at gmail.com uh, you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at wrong the podcast. And of course, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your chosen family, tell that person who's going to finger you on a roller coaster. Just let <laughs> the world know that we are here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And check us out on YouTube for the visual conversation, um, as always. And yeah, we look forward to having another conversation with you all next week please. Yeah. Hit us up. Let us know. Seriously. That story that we got from a listener just really changed the whole game. So right. Yeah. Please feel free. Feel free. Right. (laughs) Feel as free as a naked person, you know? No, I don't have anything. (laughs) I was trying, I was going to try and tie it back into something here, but I I didn't think of anything. I know. Yeah. But, um, (sighs) But yes, we've shared our stories and we would love to hear your guys's. We can keep it anonymous, Mm. but I would love to know if somebody's, you know, fucked in the storage room at work. (laughs) Did you get caught in the dressing room? Mm. Did the waves impact your ocean sex? I am curious. Yeah, did your low gravity help you in said situation? Right. How (laughs) tall are you when it happened? This this does make a difference. (laughs) Ryan is much taller than me, so we need to know who's going to enjoy ocean sex more. (laughs) (laughs) Something I never thought I would say. So there we go. (laughs) Fair enough. But yes, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in every week. Um, Even if you're new, thanks for coming and hanging out with us for a while. And we look forward to seeing you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Bye.